hello, 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 and welcome to the CRM Zen Show, where we talk about all things Zoho. This is episode 306, being recorded live from Zoholics 2024 in Austin, Texas. I'm Brett Martin. And I'm Greg Belknap. Let's get right on into the show. As many of you know, Greg and I have done a CRM Zen Show together. It went down in infamy. We've been banned from ever doing a show together ever again, but that's right. you know what? If you're watching this show, you take your chances. It'll probably get an R rating at some point, but... Uh, we think you're going to enjoy we put, it. We put the Olic in Zoholics. <laughs> hey, before we get into the show, uh, it's so great around here. We've been having a great time. So much good stuff yeah, going on. Fun. And I think that the, uh, you know, we, uh, we're we going to go through and talk about a lot of stuff that's going on in the show. But we got some guests that we want to bring in. So first, let's bring in John Mark Bantock from Catalyst oh Connect gosh. and Z Portals. Oh I'm okay. going. What are you doing here, man? <laughs> see you. See you. It's so crazy. <laughs> uh, yeah, he was just walking by. He was down, walking down the street. And I said, you know, there's a Zoho convention coming on. And he came in and all of a sudden, boom. What do you know? I know. This is where it's happening. I, I know. Yeah. It's, it's nuts. So what's going on, Zipor? Oh, man, it's been a hectic quarter. Really exciting updates. Uh, version 5.2 brought on a lot of speed optimizations. We also have the ability to now customize user experiences within the portal so you can affect the whole user experience based on a subscription status or the user through a process now within the portal so open up some really cool opportunities and you got a great booth i mean it's just uh, john's got this big 20 by 20 over here with the comfiest furniture at all of zoho well, we got to sleep somewhere <laughs> <You gotta, laughs> uh, it's been a lot of traffic so you got these big updates coming out i know that there's just you know constant announcements what's the best way to like keep up on zpo you got a newsletter that goes out on it, right? absolutely definitely keep up with the newsletter subscribe to youtube we have a, a lot of use cases out there 13 new demos where you can really play around with some of the new features that we're releasing and get some ideas for how to implement it in your organization. Fantastic. Buddy, thanks, thanks a lot. Bye, man. Yeah. Appreciate it. Appreciate yeah. it. Check out Z Portals. Great application. Hey, and next to us in our booth is our newest partner, Avalara, which I sometimes call aloe vera, but it's really Avalara. And I've got Mike Tribo. What's going on, everyone? How are we doing? <laughs> so if you're not familiar uh, with Avalara, why don't you tell people what it does, how it works, and how it integrates with Zoho? Yeah. yeah. So we are a obviously a software as a service that is built around sales tax compliance. So we integrate directly into Zoho Books, Zoho One. Uh, the entire platform provide live calculations, exemption management, and remittances to the states. Take the hands off so you don't have to worry about it. Yeah. It works really, really well. Yeah, I fantastic. Mean, I mean, because we love it. If you're selling into multiple, it's because sales tax is at the county level, the city level, districts, it's, you name it. Right, it's really complicated. Yes, the board. So this, you guys take all that headache away. Automated, automated, hands off. Right, one million dollars a year to, to charge for it. Oh, yeah. much less than that. Much less than a million. Much, much less than a million. Good. That makes it affordable. Then. <laughs> it's very affordable. Very good. Very, very good. Affordable. It's cheaper than. Uh, it's cheaper than going to jail. It is. It is. And I'll tell you, we have been working with the team for a while here, and we're really excited about the whole opportunity. We've been integrating it for a while. Our finance team is excited. So, you know, if you're not using it, you've got that problem, reach out to us. We'll get you all set up with it. But uh, really glad you could stop by. No, thanks for having all me. Right. Thanks Good so much. Yeah, all safe right. travels. See you See you all right. Well, well cool. Well, with uh, that, should we head on to the news? No. No. We have one more special guest. Yes. yes. One more special guest. Who is it? Anna Costa from Zoho. Happy to be on this show, everyone. Finally made it here. Finally did. Man. It is so good. We have had so much fun. The energy's been so high. Uh, everything here has just been, you guys have been top notch. Electric. The whole Zoho staff has been great. So uh, as you've kind of roamed around, what's your favorite thing you've been seeing? Uh, you know, one of the very great things about this here is we've got Sridhar Vanbu roaming around. We do. Always yes. good to see him interacting with people. Yep. Um, spreading some good Zoho knowledge. Uh, loving a good Zenata booth and t-shirt. Oh, you like our new shirts here, yeah, Matt. Really we got our new shirts. You can purchase those. If you just go to shop.zenata.com, you can order your very own Zenata swag. That's right. Thank you for the plug there. I like that a lot. <laughs> You know, as we've got right, it is nice that Sridhar's been there. I, I love the fact that, you know, if you've never been to a Zoholics before, you really kind of want to, I mean, not only can you see, you know, partners like us, but there are other vendors that are selling stuff. But then Zoho sets up booths for almost every single product yeah. all, all over the place. And you're 
not just talking to somebody who doesn't know anything. You're talking usually to the product manager, the guy that runs that you know entire division. Um, it was funny. We were talking with Trader Central. He, they're directly across from us, and we were talking about it. And we said, so what do you do? And he goes, I wrote it. I wrote Trader Central. I yeah. wrote the whole app. And we're like, oh, so you know a little bit about it? You know, <laughs> We've brought some geniuses on board, for sure. We've got partner geniuses as well as Zoho geniuses. So if there's a place that you need to get things answered, it's here. It's here. It really is. So anyway, so Holics 2025, I hear, will not be in Austin. It might not be. Uh, rumor has it it's moving. So yeah. With over 1,800 registrants, I don't know if Austin can put us all in. It's a small town. It is. Austin's yeah. a little town. A little rinky dink. <laughs> yeah, it's like. Oh, Texas town. Yeah, it is. It's kind of one horse town. But no, anyway. Um, so the okay. r- rumor is it could be, but you will not want to miss Soholics 2025. Um, we had a great time here. This is very amazing. amazing. It has been. And by the way, Anna, you gave me a couple pieces of uh, plexiglass. Remember that I just now. Where did we put those? Where, I, I, where did they go? Where, oh, what is it? This here? Oh, oh, oh my goodness! <laughs> Would you like me to give them to you? No, 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 no. Well, let's reenact. Let's reenact. And we need a J. And for partner of content excellence, content excellence, the award goes to Sonata Consulting. I'm for Sonata. <laughs> Didn't know it was gonna happen. That's a me. Oh, this that is, is so true. great. It's hard to keep a secret from Brett, but somehow we did. They it. did. They did. And then. Not only it, that, but here you are again, partner of the year. Oh. Gus is an honor. Oh, my God. <laughs> no, thank, we, are, we are so stoked. We're honored. We're really, we're really, really honored. <laughs> we really are honored that you guys did that for us. And, and a lot of other great, like John Mark got an award and uh, uh, Zebrain's got an award and all. Partners, a lot of great innovators got awards. It was a great ceremony. It was really, really well done. Oh, okay. um, anyway, thank you so much. You're so welcome. Right. Glad to have you here. I know. We'll see you back in 2025. 2025. We are. Don't make plans for early June 2025. You know where we'll be. Anyway, <laughs> thanks. All right. Should we get on with the show? Let's do it. Let's do it. Thank you. Adam. Here's to the news. That was exciting. That was. That was good stuff. Yeah. I liked it. So uh, I'm driving from the laptop, so you'll see us looking down up if you're used to the show. It's not going to be as smooth as Don't usual. worry. We're still with you. Still with you. Um, so we're going to start out the story with new dynamic filters in CRM. Yeah. Dynamic filters for lookup fields. Yes. We have wanted this for so well, bad. Very, so very, very long time. I know. It's, it's, it's crazy. So um, basically now. If I get this right, Greg, correct me if I'm wrong, which I very well might be. too. I okay. love correcting Brett yeah. when he's wrong. Um, I could do something like, hey, I uh, want to know uh, all the wine grapes of the world. And I look at it and I go, oh, but I, and so I have a debt. All of those are in a lookup field. But then I say, so I only want to see red wine grapes. And if, when I go to do my search, my lookup field it would only show me those. Uh, yes. So you can't. Yeah, you yeah. can do that. Yeah. But what's even more advanced with this what? is that <laughs> you can have that filter tied to a field on like the record that you're on. So like, for example, uh, let's say that uh, you have uh, like like uh, uh, like your wine, like you have a winery yes. uh, module or something. Okay. Right. And you want to. uh you want to connect it to a lookup field of, uh, you know, uh, other, uh, like, uh, like what, what state it's part of or something like that, right. or, or maybe some kind of government agency. You can set the, di- the lookup field to now say, I want to filter where the value of a field on my lookup record is equal to the value of another field on my base record beautiful so it's it's yeah you don't have to like write it into the criteria it can be dynamic and uh record by record so which solves just a ton of problems yeah we used to have to write a lot of client scripts over the last uh you know uh couple of years uh for doing this but now it's just built in it's built in baby nice 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 all right moving right along with the news here um Enhanced duplicate checking in leads, for, uh, checking for leads in CRM. So this is kind of nice. Basically, when you're getting a lead, is it pre-checking the contact database to see if it already exists? 
Yes. So you can, yeah, you can set it so that it will check and see, does this already exist as a contact? If they do, then they don't need to stay in there as a lead. Got it. You know? Um, so you can, you can choose whether or not you're specifically looking up to, you can set the preference of whether you want it looking up to uh, the contacts module or just within, still within the leads module. Um, and you can, you know, you can pick which fields uh, it's checking you're on. If it's, if it's just name, if it's just email, a combination of name and email, uh, phone numbers, whatever it is. So how does this differ? Because I'm getting a lead. A lead comes into my lead database yep. and I go to convert it. And yeah, it does a check at that point in time, and it, but it kind of asks you. It's like, hey, yeah. do you want to set this up as a new contact or is it an existing contact? Is it an existing yeah. account? How does this differ from? Something? Yeah. So the difference is that um, the way that they their duplicate check was already working was if you had, let's say you you had a lead, you convert it into a contact, you try to put that lead in your system again because it was a converted lead it still has that conversion data, you know, on the back end. And it says, okay. Hey, you've already converted a lead with this information. Got it. Um, but now it's, well, sometimes maybe your flow puts somebody directly in the contacts module, skipping the leads module entirely. So this lets you set the preference of, well, if sometimes contacts are going directly to contacts, not even going through the leads module, I needed to check the contacts, not necessarily just my already converted leads. Yeah. Beautiful. And moving right along with the news here. All right. Uh, you can now import data into the calls module in CRM. This is odd. I didn't know. One of those things where you think, could you not? I, I, and I if know. you couldn't, why not? I don't know. I don't know. But it could be like most of the time your data is coming into the calls module because you actually made a call. And then that call is going ahead and being completely put in there. But let's say you're moving from something. You have a whole yeah. lot of call data. You've got call logs. You've got call logs from somewhere else. And you'd like to have those in there. So you kind of have historical data of all your call logs. Recording, all that kind of thing. Uh, this is happening now. So you actually are in uh, great shape. Small little update. But for those of you. Who yeah. Are, and you know what? So well, the, or, the other big thing that this is good for is kind of if you needed to like do some kind of mass update. Like let's say you have added a new uh, like a new field. Uh, onto your calls module and you need to backfill all of the old calls uh updating via import is a great way to do that kind of bulk yeah. stuff you can do up to you know like fifty thousand records at a time so now that if you do have to do backfilling for your calls module you don't need to write a script that goes through chunks of a hundred at a time you can just import to update them all yeah fantastic all right Good job, team. Yeah. And moving along, Zoho Recruits Chatbot is now integrated with the candidate portal. So if you want the people you're thinking about hiring to know just how little you care about that personal touch, you can set up an AI ch chatbot to talk to them. <laughs> um, all kidding aside, you could have this kind of guide them through, get them to the right person, answer some questions, yeah. that kind of stuff. Right? Yeah, and it can also provide some like really quick and easy responses like if somebody wanted to say hey what are my current job application you know statuses where are my the, the jobs that i've applied for where are they at right now the chatbot could just easily spit those back out of like hey you applied for this job and this job and they're currently you know you're waiting on an interview for this one and uh qualified for this one so yeah. it's a nice little uh I nice quick, features. quick answers. It is. The recruit team has kind of been on fire lately. I mean, there's a whole lot of a lot of good changes and things they've been doing to it. So, uh, rock and roll. Yeah. All right. And last news story: um, you can manage your Shopify orders directly from Bigot uh, with the all new Shopify topping because that's what they call integrations in Biggin. Biggin's like a Sunday, and these toppings, toppings are just a little are on top. The little salt yeah. bay. Yeah. So this is nice. Look, let's face it. Shopify is the 800 pound gorilla in the e-commerce space. And uh, they, uh, you know, if you're running, it, it integrates right now with Zoho CRM. Yep. But a lot of people like Biggin because it's kind of streamlined, modern, Kanban type of interface. Yeah, it's a real good introduction to CRM working if you've never used one before. Yep. yep. So you can now have set up a Shopify e-commerce pipeline because Biggin is all about the pipeline. So driving it all through. So it's a nice integration. Um, I think, you know, this had to be one of those things where you've got so I, I'm noticing Biggin pick up a lot more traction 
yeah. than it's ever had before. So my guess is, is that people are really, uh, you know, they're, they're requesting this. And we're starting to see this app started out so streamlined. I mean, it was really lightweight and yeah. just adding more and more and more things to it. Um, so good stuff. Yeah. All right. With that, let's get Tyler Colt over here. For our implementation of the week. Alrighty, and so implementation of the week this week is going to come from Ben and Jason. Uh, They did a Dropbox integration for Zoho Sign via Zoho Flow. Um, So yeah, in this implementation, we're basically working with a client that already has Dropbox and they want to keep it. They've got just a ton of history and custom structure there that right now just doesn't make sense to rebuild in WorkDrive. Um, so previously, they're basically taking documents upon signature, downloading them, going into the CRM, finding the link, going to that folder, dropping it in there, uh, all a manual process. So obviously, we want to... No, 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 I, almost, I almost fell asleep just hearing, <laughs> hearing you go through that. Yeah, painful and easy to forget. So essentially, what we did, set up a Zoho Flow, because Flow can listen for signatures that come through in Zoho Sign. Um, there, we feed it into a deluge function. We do have to use Deluge here because it's the only way to actually get the file itself. Like we need right. the PDF, we need the certificate of completion. God, wouldn't we it be take... cool if Zoho Flow could grab a file? Grab a file, it would be someday, cool. someday, 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 someday. Zoho Flow people around. Well, yeah, it'd be great <laughs> if Zoho Flow could grab a file. Uh, so we feed everything through a function. Go ahead and find the appropriate folder inside a Dropbox, just matching on some of the data that's in the CRM records. Uh, and then we can upload that file directly in there and they don't have to do it anymore. So yep. nice little use case Zoho Flow. Big shout out to Ben and Jason for getting it done. Um, always nice when we can make something work outside of Zoho. Just in case yeah. someone does, you know, not everyone's going to move every single app into Zoho and that's totally fine. And it also just make, makes us feel good. It's like, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah we're more than a one trick pony. Yeah. We did it all in Zoho, that's but right. we sent it somewhere else. Yeah. So yeah, big shout out to the team. Uh, great work and a uh, happy client. Always makes me happy. Absolutely. All right, our code share for this week comes from uh, Renato, one of our uh, developers, uh, about uh, connecting inventory to QBO or QuickBooks Online. Uh, this is a very common thing that uh, you know we have to help build for people is they do their inventory management, so inventory, but they're doing all their bookkeeping in Zoho Books. So uh, Renato had done a huge, a huge uh, you know, sort of a sync job. Uh, and so he presented this uh, uh, nice little uh, code snippet here to show you how you can uh, retrieve a particular customer from uh, within. So this is all a, a Zoho inventory deluge code yep. that reaching talks, QuickBooks. yeah, reaches into QuickBooks. Because um, the way that QuickBooks uh, works is that you have to give it like something very close, like a SQL query. Yeah, it's funky. Um, it's a funky API. Yeah. So if you're not familiar with using that, if you've only used, you know, Zoho's APIs, you know, it's a little bit uh, weirder to figure out. But Renato takes care of it for you here, showing uh, how you can get that uh, that customer record, then use that customer record to search for, uh, you know, your uh, whatever it's going to be, invoices or uh, bills and updating, you know, the either creating the record or if you need to update it. With uh, you know customer information, address information, product information, yeah. yeah it, down here, he's even showing how to make the invoice. There's a lot of special sauce. Should we be sharing this? Yes. Okay. Freedom Fair of information. Anyways. Yeah, this is uh, good stuff. So basically, yeah, everything here from finding the customer, organizing all of your item data into like the appropriate invoice structure. Yeah, and then sending it over to QuickBooks to actually make that record. Yeah, uh, you would need to make some adjustments if you're making like a different record, right? Yes, like still or something like that, but. Very similar structure at the end of the day of like the line items, how everything will link up. Yep. Yep. So yeah, great job. Uh, great job, Renato. A great code share. Uh, all great right. Man. And a wonderful, wonderful person. Uh, all right. And so with that, uh, let's head on over to what's new at Sonata. All right. You're bread again. Hey, I'm back. Just like that. Um, hey, guys. You know what's going on over at Zanata? A lot. And we have just released our fourth in our series of uh, team trainings. And this one is for Zoho campaigns. This is going to be part of a marketing suite. So if you buy the marketing team training, campaigns is there right now. 
Then we're going to do marketing automation. I think we're going to be dropping in maybe social, some other things like that. So we've got quite a few things going on. I mean, they'll, we'll at least touch on it. We yeah. might not go full depth, but we'll at least talk about how it integrates with campaigns, marketing automation. Exactly. And it'll all be part of that show. So it's all, all part of that one course, but campaigns is done. And so if you are looking for uh, a full course on how to uh, do use Zoho campaigns, how to run so campaigns, all the best practices around that, tips, tricks, how to set things up, how to filter, how to segment your clients, how to integrate it with CRM, everything, it's all here. Um, and I think we're running a limited time pre-sale offer. So if you actually head over to Zanata.com, click on team training, uh, this course is launching the 21st. I would say, I believe so. So I'm like 17th, 21st, it's launching soon. So if you head over there, um, we've got 50% offering on this campaigns course, and I think you will like it. It's done by uh, uh, Wayne, who actually heads up our entire marketing department, runs all of our campaigns. He probably knows Zoho campaigns better than anybody, except maybe the guy that wrote Zoho campaigns, which is uh, over here somewhere. <laughs> so anyway, uh, yeah, good stuff. I hope you like it and check it out. And with that, Let's get to our tip of the week. All right, Greg, what has Tyler done this week? Uh, well, today he's talking about uh, how you can integrate uh, Zoho CRM, FSM, and books together as a holy trifecta uh, to improve your uh, field operations. So, uh, yeah, FSM released uh uh was it wasn't this year was it early was it late last year that fsm came out i think i think so um well actually it came out it was released originally at zoholics 2019 in austin <laughs> then it kind of got on the shelf for a little bit but i think about a year year and a half ago it was re-released yeah and uh, it's we like it yeah and it's uh in its true form yes and, uh and uh yeah Tyler here goes through uh, a great tutorial on how to uh, get FSM to talk to the CRM, you know, for handling all of your, so you got the, you got the sales process. Yes. Then you got actually, you know, running your field agents and everything like that. And then you can go to billing them and integrating with Zoho books so that you get paid for such field services, which is nice to get paid for the stuff you do. So the holy trinity you said was CRM, FSM, and books. That's right. I yes. mean, I I think I said trifecta, right. holy trifecta. Oh, the holy trifecta, which yes. is the foundation for Zoism. Yes, yes, yeah. Zoism. Not to be confused yeah. with Buddhism. No, or Taoism, but close. Yeah, something like that. Ah, so hey, that's our tip of the week. Uh, check it out. Uh, FSM, by the way, has really gotten good. Uh, yeah, I mean, really gotten good. So, and the rest are great. So now you've got how to get that integration perfectly working. Well, Greg, is that going to have to wrap it up for us here? At, uh... I think so. Um, they had a uh, they had a mechanical bull over here earlier, so uh, I think I'm a due for a, a ride on that bad boy. Yeah. Um, uh, yeah. And we've got our mixer. Yes. That we have to prepare yeah. for in a mere four and a half hours. That's right. <laughs> it's going to be tight. <laughs> We're going to have to run from here over to there. Um, but, hey, it's been a great show, everybody. Our Zoholix has been a great show, and uh, we're glad that uh, Zoho let us set up in the middle of their entire thing here and do this. want to thank everybody who helped us with this. And uh, from Zanata Consulting, uh, I'm Brett Mark. He's still Greg Belknap. I'm Greg Belknap. And if you want to get in touch with us or Josh or Tyler or anybody here at Zoho, please. <laughs> Josh. The man keeping the iPhone camera alive. That's right. I swipe it up and down. Uh, just head over to Zanata.com and click on Book a Meeting. We would love to talk to you. Uh, and always, you can uh, stay up to date with all the latest Zoho news by subscribing to our newsletter uh, or going to Club Zanata, uh, joining our online community there where we post all of these co-chairs, all these news stories, um, and you get a chance to uh, talk to other Zoho users uh, or get questions answered from your favorite Zanata experts. So, hey, from Zoholix 2024, this is Zanata Consulting, their partner of the year, signing off. See you soon, guys. <laughs>